right, you know these guys. Third Eye Blind performing uh, a benefit show here in Cleveland this week. And uh, the RNC is also in town. This, let's be clear, this was not an RNC event. Frontman Stephen Jenkins, uh, suspected convention goers, though, could possibly be in the crowd. He decided to clarify his own political views, and that's when this happened. <laughs> All right, let me bring him in. Stephen Jenkins is joining me here. Um, by the way, the band has a new album out called Dopamine. So, Stephen, nice to have you on. And, I mean, we just saw some of your comments to that crowd. I know you won't say Trump's name, uh, but you took the gig, this charity gig this week. Why was it so important to, to, to relay that message to folks in the crowd? Well, you left out the part where I said, raise your hand if you believe in science, and half the crowd booed. So, I think the two really? things that I... The two things that I said were both, um, one was a question and the other one was a fact. And the, the fact that I stated was that LGBT uh, Americans are not still enfranchised in the RNC platform. And because I'm an artist and not a song and dance man, I have to be playing in, a, in a, like an environment that like makes sense. So I think I didn't want to get painted by the RNC brush, and that's why I brought it up. But what blows my mind, seriously what blows my mind, is that it's always about this sort of back and forth in everything that's going on in this convention, and it's really hard to get down to the policy that's underneath it. And what I was talking about was a policy that they still have conversion therapy. They still have uh, wanting to uh, like amend the constitution on marriage, and that's in their that's in the convention without one single mention of global climate change. And in this entire event, there hasn't been one mention of climate change. And the only thing that's actually in it that has to do with science is repealing the EPA. These are these are actual like underlying policy bits. And I think what's going on in this thing is. Maybe this is like an act of evil genius where if they just keep it chaotic enough, no one will focus on the fact that there's either no policy or there's really bad policy like things like, like let's not support our NATO allies. That was the news the other day. Or like Ted Cruz. Goes, it was in the news oh, no. today, and trust me, Stephen, we've been talking a lot about this this interview that Mr. Trump had with the New York Times, and and we also had a whole conversation. You know, I had a very outspoken Republican who feels very strongly about LGBT rights, saying, you know, this platform uh, is definitely n nowhere near where it should be here in in 2016. So I'm listening to all of your points, but right. when you talk about the crowd, tell me quickly, yeah. tell me quickly about. You were passed a note by a woman in the crowd who was a Republican, and what did she? What was her? What was her message? Oh, she's very sweet. She said, "I really agree with what you said, and we're not all bad." And she had amazing penmanship. And you know, that's the thing is like, <laughs> it's, you know, we have like Republican family members. We've got a guy in our. Most of our crew are are you know, uh, Hillary voters or Bernie voters who are now supporting Hillary, and we got one guy who's voting for Trump. And you know, we love him. We think he's. We don't understand it, but we love him, you know. So, uh, do you have? I mean, I know you just quickly. You grew up in a Republican household. Are you are you trying to talk your parents out of voting for Mr. Trump, or are they staunch supporters? Oh no, no, no! They're not. No, they're not voting for him. And it's a split household. Uh, Dad's okay. a lefty liberal, and mom's a Republican. So we we sort of get both angles. Okay. Yeah. All right, Stephen Jenkins, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. And for all you Third Eye Blind fans, you can catch them Stanford tonight and the summer festivals, Lollapalooza, Outside Land. Stephen Jenkins, thank you so much.